Hi guys, just a brief overview of today's video. So we'll be looking at the relevant formulas, phi mrx, phi mix, and phi mox, and I'll be explaining some of the relevant theory that is attached to each of these formulas. So we have mrx, which is the uniaxial bending about the x-axis. And this is the formula straight from AS4100, um, 8.3.2. And what we can see is that it relates back to the linear interaction between moment and compression, which I showed in that um, graph in the previous video, um, and which was a linear sort of graph. Um, and phi mrx is defined as moment capacity reduced by axial force. Um, and that's the definition as per AS4100. Now, when we use this formula, I want you guys to understand that phi ns was something that you should have learned earlier with Jeff. Um, so it's this formula from this section of AS4100 and the axial force diagram, for instance, for something like this would look something like ooh, that. And we'd call this N star. So this formula, just to make it, uh, sense of it, N star, you know how to calculate this and I've showed you guys and um, taught you how to calculate this. So then you can find phi MRX and this is the n star value that you would use. Now, mix is compression members and it's in plane interaction of x axis compression buckling with x axis bending. So, this is the formula from AS.